Good afternoon. My name is Peter Burkhart, part of the Burkhart Project. Sarah's off camera, getting dinner ready. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. It's the weekend, and oh, we are excited. <laughs> um, Is sometimes, that appetizing? Sometimes food doesn't look good, <laughs> but it tastes <laughs> Real good. Sometimes I laugh like Olaf. Uh, you like laugh like Olaf, like like ninety percent of the time. Like ninety like, percent of the time. Like ninety like percent, like 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 like. And she looks like Sven a hundred percent of the time. What? Well, it must be because it's a weekend, but they cut off Orange Avenue at Robinson, so I'm getting off. I'm getting out. Bye. Really I love you. If they're start driving again. Vlogs of drivers named Sarah <laughs> Brookhart. Wow. So Universal opened to the public today, side note. Um, we'll see how we feel on our schedules this weekend, but I really want to go, not even to go on rides. This weekend, I just want to hear some Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. I want to hear some Diagon Alley music. It's hard because I think they close at 6, and I love Wizarding World at nighttime. And right now it doesn't get to be nighttime until like 8.20. I mean, Diagon Alley's so tall it might look dark there around 7, 7.30. So we'll see. Plus, now that it's the weekend, um, there's longer and larger marches and speeches that are going to be going on downtown that I will want to attend. Like I know there's a big one tomorrow downtown, so if you're in the area of Orlando, like Yola, 4 p.m. to 8, um, it's going to be a bigger one. But to give some context, this is where we've seen Andrew McMahon a few times. There's a helicopter over there, helicopter somewhere over there, and orange is blocked off. But you can see there's like actual cop cars down there. Um, I think there's a protest crowd coming from the police department heading to City Hall, and there's already one at City Hall. So hopefully it's a good number today. I wanted to touch point really quick on something before I get near the uh, protest and it gets loud. Um, today is a very significant today because with what is going on with all the racial inequality and police brutality that is being emphasized right now across the country and the world, today is Brianna Taylor's birthday. She would have turned 27 today if she wasn't shot in her apartment. So I think that's going to be a big big thing going on right today and potentially this weekend is emphasis not just on George Floyd and a lot of the other people who have been killed but today being Brianna Taylor Brianna Taylor's birthday is significant got a good crowd I think I missed the spot where both groups met but it's a good thing we're all together now so last but not least, we're asking y'all to vote. Get active. You want to bring to the vote? We love it. You want to make some change? We can make change. No justice! No peace! 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 Some of y'all been out here for a long time. Are you tired? No! Are you tired? No! Will you stop? No! Will you be silenced? No! Will you stop? No! You cannot stop, y'all. This is a movement that must continue with this momentum. When I say black lives, you say it matters. Black lives. Matter. Black lives. Matter. We are. We are. Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. Let's put yourself in the shoes of someone who's asleep in their bed. Minding their business, dreaming about what type of future leader they could be. When all of a sudden shots ring through your comfort zone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rihanna. Happy birthday to you. Eve is already so sweetly waiting for Peter to come home. Just staring at the door, protecting us. Okay, so I'm home. I took Eve out on a walk. Um, Peter had let me know that at the protest today, they had sung happy birthday for Brianna Taylor. Um, I don't know if you've 
heard her names in any of the chants in our vlogs um, or if you've seen her name in social media and the news but Brianna Taylor would have been 27 years old today she was killed by police officers that entered her home in the middle of the night with a no-knock warrant they were also wearing civilian clothing her boyfriend took it upon himself in self-defense to shoot one of the police officers in the leg and that caused them to shoot I think it was 20 times and I think that Brianna was hit eight and so none of the police officers in this case have been charged and so we are going to put in the description of this video a petition that they are charged um, and a GoFundMe that is for Brianna's family um, apparently it was a clerical issue that caused this event but again she is no longer with us because of it and we just want to make sure that we speak her name especially today in our vlog um, and share those links with you in this information um, because again this is just something that cannot be forgotten and swept under the rug so those links will be in the description for you if you are compelled to take action in, in either of those ways. Also, before, I don't remember if I said this or not, um, that the Louisville FBI office, because that's where it happened, it actually happened two months ago, um, they said that they would open a case on the events that took place in Brianna's apartment, but there hasn't really been much traction and um, the three cops that were involved, they are on administrative leave. They have not been like fired, they have not been charged, and again, obviously, they should be charged. So, just in case I didn't mention those details. Now, I need everybody in the crowd, I see a lot of phones up right now. I need everybody, Understood. I need everybody in the crowd right now to grab their phones, put their airdrop on, and we're going to send something out to you. It's how you can get an election boost as a poll worker. It's how you can work for local campaigns. It's how you can become a civic engagement leader on your campus through various organizations that will actually pay you to be there. It, it, it's job opportunities. It's opportunities to get in the mix. It's education, it's donations, it's reading sources, it, it's, it's petitions to sign. Anyone who remains in the curfew area after 8 p.m. may be subject to arrest. I I don't know if anyone is new here or not, but the reason that Peter goes to the um, to the protest and I stay home is because I'm expecting a baby. I'm just extra cautious with me these days, especially with COVID and whatnot. Um, I don't know if this little baby's doing some extra growing or what, but today I'm just really feeling it. Um, and so, I think I'm just gonna take the rest of the night and watch Queer Eye and laugh and feel good. And um, you guys, I mean, a lot of you know how much I absolutely love Queer Eye. It is Pride Month, and so I thought that that would be a really fitting way for me to just sit back and relax while celebrating it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do and make a grocery list because we are going grocery shopping this weekend. We're going to look for donuts. We're going to look for donuts. City Walk is closed, so no voodoo for us, but we're going to check Whole Foods. Oh, but the slides were lit up too. Universal Ooh. is open. Limited hours, but open. We might be going this weekend just to hear the hears. I got the whole wide world in the palm of my this is the song Sarah sings in her mind whenever she strolls up to Whole Foods. Well, we did not do our research before we went out and Whole Foods closed at 8. We knew other things closed early. Um, so we're going to go swing by Market on South. We we, but we did what? 50 minutes to get there. Yeah, less than an hour to get there. My hair, I'm so sorry. But anywho, but something that made the trip out here extra worth it was that we had a package at the P.O. Box. There wasn't a note that says who sent these but they are Thank awesome. Thank you because they're so funny. I am a fun guy. Ah. Vegging out. And then please 
Romaine comb. <laughs> so cute. Please let us know if you were the one that sent these. Marco Nonsalt always looks the most beautiful at night for some donuts. What just happened? Um, their telephone answering machine was wrong. And because it said it closed at 9.30, they actually closed at 8.45 because of the 10 o'clock curfew. No donuts for us. No donuts for us. Sorry, National Donut Day. <laughs> but we're going to get some french fries. Um, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but thank you to whoever of you left a comment yesterday and said Ant-Man and the Wasp is on Netflix. I don't know why our Apple TV just didn't tell us that when we searched it on the on the, the Siri part of it, but we're going to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp. It is time, and I know it's a long one. Every day, think as you wake up. Today, I am fortunate to be alive. I have a precious human life. I am not going to waste it. I'm going to use all my energies to develop myself, to expand my heart out to others, to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all beings. I'm going to have kind thoughts towards others. I am not going to get angry or think badly about others. I am going to benefit others as much as I can. The Dalai Lama. Well, tomorrow fuck's gonna be like a busy day. So maybe I'll wait for Sunday to go over it, but I got my official training schedule for Chicago Marathon. And I haven't looked too much in detail in it yet, but it technically started um, two days ago, but I was waiting for Saturday because like today is like the kickoff or t when you're watching this on Saturday, it's like the kickoff. So uh, Thursday and Friday were just kind of like nice bonus to it. So tomorrow's the actual start of the training, um, which is great because I haven't run like a week because of the end of the vacation with the family and then everything going with the protesting. Um, which technically I ran home one day and then two of the days I put in plenty and plenty of miles. I've been putting in plenty of miles actually during all this of walking but not running. Um, but I'm gonna, the goal is to get up real early to my long run because those are set on Saturdays now. And then we're gonna hit up Universal and then there are some bigger protests going on downtown. Organized speeches and stuff like that at two, March at three. Are you signing off for now? I am. Some more stuff later on. Um, the guy I like to follow, uh, he hasn't posted where he's going to be yet, and he mentioned not being downtown. So I might be in two different spots tomorrow. You never know. Um, never know. Really cool. Some vegan shops in Orlando were giving away free food at Lake Eola today, and they're going to also be tomorrow. Um, tomorrow at Lake Eola? No, I don't know if it's Lake Eola. It's in like the Mills District area. Okay. So we could probably look up um, that. So that's really I love cool. Love free food, especially when it's vegan. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.